Hey viewers, welcome back to DMARC DKIM. This video is going to guide you how you can set up Amazon SES, SPF, DKIM and DMARC records for authenticating your email domain. Let's begin. First of all, you are going to log in to your Amazon SES dashboard. Here, click on the hamburger menu. Now, go to Identities in Configuration section. Now click on create identity, select domain, write down your domain name in this field and check the box for use a custom mail from domain. Now you are going to add a subdomain for your root domain and these two options will be selected automatically. Keep them as they are. Now move on to advanced DKIM settings. Here select easy DKIM and now select the key length 2048 because it is more secure and finally click create identity on the next page scroll down and here you will find the c name dkim records mx record and a text spf record add all these records to your dns provider i have logged in my cloudflare account and here i will go to my domain now in the dns tab click add record and now select record type c name copy this dkim record name add it in the name field copy the record value add it in the target field and turn off the proxy for every c name record because when proxy is turned on it diverts the traffic to the dns server instead of the email server now save this record and add two other dkim records by following the same steps After DKIM, let's move to the MX record. Select type MX, add the record name and record value. Select priority 10 and save this record. And finally, we have the SPF record. Copy this SPF record name and value and add it in your DNS dashboard. If you have any existing SPF record with the root domain, you can still add this Amazon SES SPF because it comes with a subdomain. But if you want to merge the both SPF records, you can use dmarkdkim.com SPF merge tool. The link is given in the description. Add your domain name, then add Amazon SES SPF value. Click merge and this tool will merge both SPF records under your root domain and not the subdomain. So make sure to edit your already existing SPF record that was added with your root domain. Just replace the previous value with this merge value and both SPF values will work just fine. And lastly, we have the DMARC record. The DMARC value provided by Amazon SES is a PNUN value which only provides initial monitoring for the emails and it does not block any emails coming from unauthorized sources. Moreover, it doesn't have any destination where you will be receiving the DMARC records and without the insight, you cannot make sure that your domain is protected. To address all these issues, we have built a tool which not only helps you implement a strict policy, but it also provides you a dashboard where you can see the DMARC reports and it breaks down the complex data into easily understandable instructions. Link to this tool is given in the description. Just add your domain name here, click check and it gives you a DMARC record. Initially, it gives you a monitoring value. Once it monitors all the emails coming from unauthorized sources, then it starts guiding you for setting up a strict policy to block the imposters. Add this text DMARC record in your DNS dashboard. After adding the DMARC record, click sign up now to get access to the reports dashboard. Here you will need to add your business email. Then you will see this interface and here click connect domain. And now you will also need to add a ownership verification record. I have already added this record, so it is not displayed here, but you will have to add the ownership record and the DMARC record. Once you have added both, click check DNS records and now your domain is verified and it will start receiving the DMARC reports after 24 hours. At this dashboard, you can see DMARC reports, DMARC analytics 
and also you have the DNS history. This tab contains all the DNS records that you have added in your DNS dashboard so far. If you delete any record from the DNS dashboard, you can recover it from here because it stores all your data, even the deleted records. So once you have added all the records, go back to Amazon SES DNS page and here refresh the page to update DNS status and you will see the green check marks with each record and with your domain name which indicates the records are authenticated and your domain is also now verified. In case you don't see the verification success, wait for 24 to 48 hours because sometimes the servers take longer to update the DNS status but if DNS records are not verifying after 48 hours, it means there's a misconfiguration in your DNS setup. If you are unable to figure out where the issue is, you can hire a dmarkdkim.com expert to handle your domain authentication hassle for you. You can find the link in the description for scheduling a meeting and we are more than happy to help you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful. If yes, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel to stay updated. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and have a good day.